Okay, before we start, a bit of a government health warning. I am wearing shorts. Hello. This week I'm not in the Lake District because I'm in Cornwall because I'm on my holidays. Um, I'm staying in Boscastle because my mum and my stepdad live just outside the village. Um, so it's about eight in the evening and I'm heading off out to take a picture of Boscastle Harbour. So my mum and my stepdad Kevin live on the road that goes from Boss Castle to Crackington. Um, so in order for me to get to where I'm going to take my shot today, which is Penelli Point, I've just got a short walk along the coast path. So that's where my mum and Kev live, at Tresuk Farm. Hello Mum and Kev. Hello Mrs Sale. It's an absolutely gorgeous evening this evening. It's not a cloud in the sky. So you're going to have to forgive these. My sunglasses, I'm not trying to be cool. I am the most uncool man alive. I realise that. Um, and also, I'm on my holidays, so I haven't had a shave. Oh dear. Now this video has been inspired by one that I saw by a chap called Julian Baird. And he came to Boss Castle earlier in the year and shot a very similar composition to the one that I'm going to try today. Now last night I came up here to check this composition out, check it all out, scope it all out. Um, and um, around nine o'clock last night, it's about nine o'clock now, um, the sun went behind a band of cloud on the horizon and that's exactly what's happened this evening. So I've lost that beautiful golden light. Um, but anyway, we shall press on. So let me, let me take you through the composition, step this way. So we have uh, these, uh, we've got some rocks here uh, in the foreground. Uh, I'm perched on this sort of rocky outcrop, um, looking overlooking the harbour, um, just beneath the flagpole at the top of Penelli Point. Um, and we've then got this, can you see, we've got this S that leads out of the harbour. And we've got rocks on either side. And then in the distance, I don't know if you can just make it out, is the lookout point that sits on top of the cliffs just there. Right, the light is back, just about. Or well, it was. Bugger. Hooray, so the sun's back. I'm just getting a little bit of color on the these hills here. Um, I've got the polarizer on the front of the camera just to cut out the glare on these rocks. Um, there's no grads on there today, no big stopper, no long exposure or anything like that, but I am bracketing, so we'll blend those together uh, later in Lightroom. Uh, for this, because of the, the amount of contrast that's in the scene, I'm going for two stops either side. Now I think you can just see the sun's now setting behind me um, and it's really weak now. It, it's not strong enough to light up the scene that I was photographing. So I think I'm going to pack up my gear now and I'm going to just head over to the rocks over there and I'm going to watch that sunset. <laughs> Now 
our plan for tomorrow is to head along the coast of Tintagel and try and get a, a shot of the sunrise on the west coast, which may be impossible for me. But until then, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this sunset. So, night night. Right, Tintagel. It's about quarter to five in the morning. Sunrise is in about half an hour. And there's already some colour in the sky. So I'd better get a move on. Now obviously the castle's closed this time of day. It's not even five o'clock yet, <clears throat> and uh, it's until ten. Um, so I had a quick look around the bit that you can get to for the castle that's open, but there's nothing. There's not much of a shot east, and there's not much of a shot west either, if I'm honest. So I'm now heading down to the cove, I suppose, by the by the castle. And I'm going to try and get up the other side and try and get a shot towards the rising sun. Whew. So I've made it. I've, um, I've climbed up a little rocky outcrop called Barra's Nose, which is just east uh, along from Tintagel Castle. Um, as you can probably tell from the light on my face, the sun is already up. So I'm here a bit later than I would have liked, and it's already too strong to shoot directly at the sun. Um, so I think the next thing for me to do is to wait for that to rise high enough and to illuminate the castle that's behind me. Now as I'm waiting for the sun to rise fully and to completely illuminate the cliffs that the castle sits on, I have found this little composition here uh, with this, this um, sort of rock that juts out um, and you know onto the, the, the uh, clear horizon. Um, I think that can make a nice little shot, particularly if I go and stand on that rock and look all kind of thoughtful. <music> It's a simple little composition um, and this time I'm going to use some filters. I've got the polarizer on the front, that's going to stop the glare on the rocks. Uh, I've got a two-stop soft edge grad because I haven't got a two-stop hard edge grad. Uh, and I've got the big stopper on there, I'm doing some long exposures. Now I'm at f11, um, which is my kind of def default aperture, um, and that's giving me an exposure time of around four minutes. <music> set the camera up too far away from those rocks and the 10 second timer doesn't give me enough time to uh, get into position so I'm going to move the camera a bit closer to the rocks give myself a fighting chance here will do Now there might be a little bit of a composition here looking down 
to those rocks with the sea breaking over them but uh, I'm not the best with heights um, so I think I'm going to be go very careful with this one So it's the same setup as before uh, two stop soft days grad circular polarizer and the big stopper um, and that's given me an exposure time of around 140 seconds um, I'm pretty pleased with that, that looks alright that's it for me for this week. Uh, it's about half past six. I need to be making my way back to the car now because I need to be home by half seven because we're going to head over to Padstow and we're going to hire some bikes and we're going to cycle along the Camel Trail to Weybridge. So next week I'll be back in the lakes and until then, take it easy.